this is Nick from Rivet Lab. Let's take a look at how to install a rubber nut, otherwise known as a well nut. So this is a rubber style rivet nut. It's got a brass insert which is molded into there. Um, you are able to install these without any special tools. So I've already pre-prepared a hole for this particular rubber nut, which is an M6. Um, I've just drilled a 12 and a half mil hole already in there. Um, installation's really easy. Um, we just place the rubber nut into the hole. It's got a nice little rubber flange on there. Um, then for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use a washer, but this could be some sort of bracket or any other bit of material that you're joining to your substrate. Um, I've got a M6 machine screw here, so I'm just going to tighten that up. The rubber nut will not be installing as yet. We're just threading that into the molded brass thread. Um, and what's going to happen is as we start to tighten this machine screw, the rubber nut is going to flare and bulge up much like a rivet nut does. And we'll just switch camera angles so you can see the internal shot of this aluminium tube and how the rubber nut forms. So now to install the rubber nut, we're just going to start tightening this machine screw. And with this camera angle, I'm just going to do this slowly so you can see the rubber nut starting to form underneath. And like I said, it, it bulges up much like a rivet nut does. We don't want to over tighten this, but basically once we get to around this point, we should have a nice bulb flange on the inside. And that there is an installed rubber nut. The other great thing about these as well, unlike a rivet nut, or a steel rivet nut or stainless steel rivet nut, if we loosen this off, we can actually take the rubber nut out. The rubber will relax. And you'll be able to work that rubber nut out. You could use that again if you wanted to, or if it was damaged, you could just use a new rubber nut. But then there's no damage to the hole. You don't need any tools for disassembly. Uh, but once it's in, you can reuse that again. We have a nice and secure joint. So what we're gonna go and do now is a bit of an extreme strength test on the rubber nut. I'm gonna install an eye bolt into a hole just like this and we will hang a weight off it and test how strong these really are. Hey, this is Nick from Rivet Lab. We are doing a strength test on a M6 rubber riv nut or rubber nut or well nut as they're often called. Uh, at the moment we have got a 32 kilogram kettlebell down the bottom just wrapped around some chain going up to an eye bolt going into um, a M6 rubber nut. So we're just going to get John to slowly lift up the tines of the forklift and get some weight on that kettlebell and you can lift a little bit off the ground, not too far please. Perfect. Uh, so as you can see the rubber nut's really got some pretty decent strength. We're not advocating you use rubber nuts for hanging heavy weights above head by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but this is just a bit more of a extreme test to show you uh, how strong these rubber nuts are. So typically used for lightweight applications, automotive, other sort of medium to lightweight sheet metal applications. Um, the rubber nut's going into um, some aluminium square tubing. The wall thickness is about one millimetre.